This is an organisation that rewards risk and embraces failure. Every few months, each office get together for their own 24-hour lock-in, where staff are encouraged to innovate and try new ideas. It's what they call a hackathon, and it's how they came up with the like button. Coding, it's like cooking, big man. You work for hours to find the perfect recipe, and once you found it, bingo, you sell it to the world. At Facebook, all employees have two birthdays, their own and their face-versary, which they celebrate each year they're at the company. They have bring your family to work days, pride events, and they get celebrities in to inspire the workforce. They even have a small village with bikes, shops and an arcade. Everything is free, so everyone can focus on connecting the world. To help fix the scale of the problems that have been exposed, they're hiring more engineers at a staggering rate. These are the people who will be responsible for taking Facebook into the future. Today, they're being initiated into the unique culture. If you haven't already, on the left-hand side of the room, you can fill in a name badge. In the last year, they've hired more than 10,000 people. Every week, 50 new engineers arrive in London. Hello everyone, this is Raymond from China and I will be joining the London office as a software engineer. Hi, my name is Marina, uh, joining in London, originally Russian. With the company set to double in the next few years, it's these engineers they're now relying on to fix things, as well as grow the business. When we say this is now your company, we really mean it. This isn't just any other company, this is now your company, so it's in your hands to make this company better or worse. When we give feedback, we give feedback in a way that is constructive and is not just showing that you are the smartest person in the room. We do talk about feedback being a gift, but we don't believe in being arseholes. And that's like, it's straight up, we just, we don't tolerate dicks. Everything we do, we're doing to connect people and we're doing to try and bring social value in that connection. That means that every product decision that we make is tuned for does it do good in the world? We're not a company that's designed to make money. We're a company that's designed to create communities and let those communities make a difference in the world. We think about money as a secondary thing. With a revenue of over $55 billion, Facebook have the power to scoop up the best engineers on the planet with their own unique approach to recruitment. New employees are called noobs, and go through a six-week boot camp where they're introduced to the many departments. The space tracking technology allows us to know exactly where your eyes are, and that allows you to actually superimpose <coughs> funny glasses or anything you really wanted. Most noobs don't apply for a specific job. They're allowed to choose where they work. It's supposed to make sure they end up taking on problems they care about most. But it means each department has to pitch to prospective employees. It's an unfortunate fact that there are a lot of people who are trying to reach out to minors on all kinds of platforms, including ours, for inappropriate purposes. We also have to worry about all kinds of things where people give signals on the platform that something terrible might happen. The most interesting thing here is just the mindset is completely different. Engineers are the ones driving the change, whereas in other companies, usually it's the managers uh, get passing the change downwards. It's a big difference. I have to get used to it. You know, it's Facebook, so um, everything you do here is in such scale. Whatever small change you make is going to reach so many people. You need to think how you make, well, it's kind of a cliche, but the impact. Three, two, one. Awesome.